Hi guys, I'm back. It's Jesus Primus, and this is the next episode of the Blackfire series. Damon has declared war on the Iron Islands to put them back under us. Alton Greyjoy is our enemy. We need to put him back under the Seven Kingdoms of the Iron Throne, because quite frankly, I only have six kingdoms at the moment, which is not good. Time to go get back, back number seven. So I'm going to raise the levees. Uh, rearrange the council for an interim war council. Just so nobody gets any ideas of assassinating me while we're all at war. Or any of that nonsense. And we've sort of broken the peace that was achieved in the last episode. Jeez, already? Fine. Good news is we have most of the realm behind us on this one. Dorn, the Stormlands, the Westerlands, and the Vale. The north is directly under us for some reason. Probably because they're still dealing with revolts of their own. And the Reach is yet to join us for some reason. Come on, Peak. Uh, we'll get to it. Gregarious? No, of course not. Um, just gonna focus through some of these Targaryens. I don't really care what happens to them, but uh, the way this series will be going in the future is dealing with all these Targaryen pretenders, namely the three sons of Bay of the Breaks, Spear, and Ares, and anybody else who's sort of lingering around. Uh, we're going to try to hold on to Blackfire power as long as possible. Hopefully, we'll be able to keep what Darren Damon has given us. Sorry, not Darren. Why do I have saying Dam Darren when I mean Damon? Okay, my son wants to get married off to my daughter, because, uh, well, you know, Blackfires. So, of course, we accept. Curious if I said he never killed anyone? Come on, don't brand me. Don't brand me. Not gonna look. Honest? Okay. Any ambition? No. Ruthlessness. Oh, well. That's pretty good, too. Okay. Already I'm over the amount of ships I have because there's just not enough boats. Lofton to Hagon. Yeah, I remember arranging that. that. That should be entertaining at least for the viewers. I'm going to take Hagon with this force. Let's go get those great joy bastards. This is a little hard for me. I'm a, I'm, I'm a huge Greyjoy fan, uh, so this 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 is hard for me. Uh, no people respect wealth. Not saying that I actually like the characters of the Greyjoys. I just find them fun. Ah, oh, cool. Melee's is getting better at wielding a sword. Maybe he'll be interesting, maybe he won't be, never know. Var might actually be a problem. Now I could just hack off all their heads, but the amount of tyranny I get for that is ridiculous. Speaking of, I'm going to release this. At least she's the. Yeah, she's just a Tyrell. Release from prison. Didn't cause me any problems, really. Family did. She didn't. Darren Waters here. What am I going to do to him? I kind of want to send him to the wall, let's be honest. Or I can execute him. Can I execute him? Uh, five tyranny, that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> yeah, no. Darren. I do not want to send the wall. I kind of want his head. I'll call him for trial later. He, yeah, after all, did call himself king. We're gonna let him rot to death. 
Anyway, uh, the point of this episode is to fight the Warring Greyjoys, and hopefully this will be a quick battle, because we frankly outnumber them by oodles. We... Just banishing this nobody in the Night's Watch, because that's what you do with nobodies in this game. Uh, in case you were wondering, I left this force back here because the Greyjoys have a tendency to, uh, under the AI control at least, uh, try to sneak a force into your capital when you're at war with them. Uh, and they tried to, it's just they landed over there and we had a large number of men in King's Land holding them off. So, let's go get them. Ares is, in is ill. That's terrible. Uh, compensating him? Yes, good. I don't know, he likes me now. A little better, at least. This dude just got beheaded by Starks. I think they're still Starks, right? Yeah, they're Starks. It's John Roy. Yeah, okay. Had to make sure. It's been a couple changeovers, I remember that. Hmm. Halon's been reading books. You should take pride in this. There we go, he's a proud man. And hopefully we smash them. Clara Isle, Sir Damon Royce, and the Iron King Altman meant his enemies in a duel. Royce won. Good job, Royce. We raised that kid. That means he just won us the war right there. I'm gonna let the Ironborn armies get smashed for a minute here. As the Gormans join us, as Gorman Peak joins us late. Not the Gormans, Gorman Peak. Come on. Uh, I don't want him to gain cool at all, so I'll take the prestige damage. Oh, really? Come on. Alright, 100% war score. Boom, done. That's a quick little war. Puts them back under us. Until next time. And everything's back. Repoint the old council. Don't want to piss anyone off. I'll order these wars to stop. Targaryens to stay where they are. Good. Idle council matters. Who's idle? Oh, you are. Okay, go back to scheming. Alrighty. Now, what to do about the Targaryens? Can I call them for trial? I don't appear to be able to. It's weird. Very weird indeed. I don't understand why I can't call him for trial. He's not backing down. Oh, come on, Butterwell. You're fighting the Lofsten. That's ridiculously silly. I'm going to uh, brand him a traitor and give his liege a claim to his title. And let's call down... I'm an idiot. I should just call down the fleet levies instead of the army levies. That should have done everything just fine. There's only seven of meds still on that. Let's get them moving. Alright. Garrus, come on. Oh, you really are a disappointment, Damon. <sighs> well, he could have been better, but he's not the worst son I've ever had in one of these games. 14, 10, 10. Yeah, it's not all that good. His brother's amazing. That was also kind of a disappointment. Hey, gun should be okay. Hopefully. I'm gonna banish Mix Makar. To the wall. Inform me that Damon got elusive shadow. And now for my son Arian. Uh I'm gonna go for Marshall because he's a black fire after all, and I'm going to take him on as a squire. How much money do we have? 
A little bit of debt. That's gonna be a problem. Come on, Bracken, stand down. Good job. Call down my fleet stone, pay for them, and get those guys together. Getting impatient could be pretty good. It buffs a couple stats and increases defense, which is pretty good. Get my son off here so he has some grandchildren. Okay. He's already at max. Next son down is take on a squire and force to train. Very good. That means the next kid down the line is Arian. We're just trying to make all of our sons pretty competent doing what they do, such that, uh, you know, there's no shitty son. Come on. Okay, so the Targaryens can do what I want them to. Great. I don't like his claims. So there's a lot of notifications going by, they're all pretty minor. Uh, no. He's not being released. Oh, winter is coming. So yes, we're trying to see what happens with King Damon here. Let's say you're idle. Clearly have you scheming. Weird. Oh, it's him. Chance to prove my worth at the tournament. I'm gonna go to that. Do, 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 do. And yeah, the point of the series is to see how the Blackfire Secession will go and make sure that everybody just sort of goes in line. Um, I'm gonna say that Damon's probably more likely zealous than cynical, uh, just because we know he's a very good knight and all that jazz. Uh, he never cheated on his wife in any of that business. Um, so, I'm gonna go with zealous. The plus to Marshall is good. It's a good trait to have in this. Uh, in base CK2, I try to avoid it because it means you can't convert to anything, but in this, it's kind of best if he faced to the seven as a king in Westeros. Ready my horse. Oh man, I pulled a good one here. Boris Blunt. Sorry, Bowman Blunt, not Boris Blunt. <laughs> Sorry, wrong dude. I got defeated by him. Because he's a formidable fighter. I should have been able to kick his ass though. An actual fight, but that's jousting for you. My granddaughter died stillborn, which is annoying. And Red Tusk wins another tournament. He's injured and depressed, though. That's going to be a problem. A fine competition. It annoys me that I can't kill off Damon here. That is very annoying. Huh. Because I'm no, finally no longer a tyrant. I don't want to sully my reputation again. Let's find a bride for him. He's here. Do nothing for now or not. And let's just take a look. Nothing all that great up here so far. The Lady of Dorne isn't that bad. A Stark? That could be pretty funny. Peak, and a Martell. Mm, he's 14. I'm going to do with Martell. It's an olive branch, uh, and we can reunite the realm some here. <sighs> Maron, Maron. 
this is, this dude is I don't know how I feel about him. Probably don't feel about him. Oh, that patrol will do something to keep the realm together. Area in here. Uncle Alfred. The Starks. To this black fire. A witch and a demon worshipper. I'll keep that to myself. Because I'm not sure if I trust it. New appreciation for Lucas Stokeworth. <sighs> really, Maron? Really? I don't know. Uh, Martel, damn it. Hagon turned out to be pretty good. Like, 14 isn't the best, but he's a skilled commander and a skilled fighter. That's not bad. His base is terrible, though. There he's here. Um, let's get him. Um, that's only a little bit dead, that's fine. I don't care about her. <laughs> let's go back a minute. What do I want to do with you? The problem is, he is not going to be good at commanding people. As compared to his other traits. I think he'd make a very good hand-like figure. Um, because he has good stewardship, and I'm going to give him a focus in diplomacy, and being hand of the king requires both diplomacy and stewardship. So I'm going to focus him on his diplomacy, but hopefully the stewardship won't be terrible either. Really, dude? Gorman Peak is just more and more unfavorable. I'm going to uh, attempt to lift his excommunication just to do him a favor. There we go. Because we did put him there. Axel Baratheon is going after Blackfire. You are going to end that war as quickly as possible. Good. And yeah, we're just going to steadily sit here and make sure that the realm stays together. It's a little slower paced, um, but basically we're just trying to see who will end up seeing Damon Blackfire and whether or not we can keep the realm very stable. And he's lazy. I don't care about Targaryen. Vlar here is turning out to be alright though. I'll take him on as my squire. Well, I no re real reason. It just feels like it. Ah, a diplomat from the Free Cities wants to help Arian Targaryen. Uh, I don't really care about Arian Targaryen, but we'll do it just because I like the event. King Gregarious got better diplomacy. That's not too bad. Again, I don't really care about the Targaryens that much. Well, the ones that are in the realm. The ones that are outside the realm terrify me, because I'm sure somebody's going to start a faction. Yeah, there's still an action for Darren Waters. That's why I'm in jail. I'm not letting him out while that faction still exists. Uh, of course, Blood Raven's coming. Well, that should prove to be interesting. Uh, we get to see, probably the next episode, whether or not Blood Raven will come for us. I have suspicion that he will. Alright, see you guys in the next episode. This has been Strategist Primus. I hope you have enjoyed.